Ciao guys, Tyrewood here. So the Olympics game are finally here. We're gonna be able to watch them in VR. Uh, for now, just on some systems. So Windows Mixed Reality, Google Cardboard, Google Daydream and Gear VR. If you don't own one of those, I'm still browsing around to see if there's a way to watch them on Oculus and Vive. If you know a way, just leave in the comment below so we can share with everybody. Pretty, pretty pumped by this. So what I'm gonna do in this video is show you how to watch them and just go over the app together. So it's owned by NBC Sports and it's a partner with Intel. It's not yet the technology that we've seen at the CES to have like this 360 environment. So not just 360, but also room scale video, but it's a 360 experience or 1080, depends on the videos that we are watching. And it's gonna be available just in the US. So if you are from Europe or other parts of the world, the way to do it is just download a VPN and connect it through that. And there's gonna be just on-demand video for the public. If you have a subscription with NBC, so you're gonna be able to watch also the regular streaming. But let's go over the basic part of the app, how it runs, and let's see it together. Okay, so first of all, we're gonna have to open the Microsoft Store. So we open it, and what we're gonna look is NBC Sports VR. Be sure to write it in the right way because the, uh, the searching engine on the Windows Store is horrible. So here's gonna what is gonna appear. You just click on it and waiting for loading. Okay, and here it's gonna have the install button. So we go over the install. Super, super easy, straightforward. And then when we have it, is gonna appear on our Windows Mixed Reality headset. So let's grab it without destroying everything and let's get in VR for you. Okay, here we are in VR in our living room with some mountains in the background. So let's go over here and let's open it. So uh, I'm gonna use just one uh, controller. Windows button and let's look for NBC Sport VR. Let's pin it everywhere we want and let's get in. Lee Jong Chang, 2019. Not super good with that pronunciation. And here we are in. So, in this 3D environment, we can move the cursor with our head, or I think, yeah, or we can use our controller too. That is not coming here, uh, just staying there for some reason. Anyway, better, it's not gonna... There was a tutorial at the beginning, I just skip it because, so you're gonna be able to watch it and get all the information. And so over here we have all the sport we're gonna be available to see and where there's the green spot is where there's something streaming right now. Anyway, there's some indoor, so short track, spear skating, ice skiing, skiing, then we have a jump, that's what we're gonna see, snowboard and sliding sports, a visitor center with a metal count and everything. And we are all in this very nice environment. Let's go to Nordic Sports and whoa, let's fly there, apparently. And let's watch something nice. Let's see over here. I already started, but I didn't watch it all through. So let's see Be an Athlete. That was looking like the most interesting. Okay, and here we are. The HOD is gonna stay there or no. The resolution is not the best from here. I don't know if you can see. Oh, ciao. Let's get inside. And this thing gets stuck. The controller, even if 
I move it, it's just staying there for some reason. Anyway, let's get in. Fisher, very nice. Okay, the, the resolution is increasing a little, but it's not super sharp. This is weird. If you are motion sickness, guys, probably this is not super recommended. But okay, now it's better. We are on his head. Let's go. Whoa. And jump. <laughs> That was nice. I don't know if you hear the music, but also <laughs> with the music, whoa! Also with the music, it's pretty nice. Whoop! Let's open it. Wow! 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 <laughs> Let's go back. What is this? Okay, this is just the menu. So we have an HUD to see other videos. And yeah, with the different bar, so we don't have to go back to the big area every time. There are a lot of video guys that don't want to spoil anything. So let's go back there uh, in the sky. And let's go back to the world, I guess, over here. And yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Guys, I think that there was awesome. It's just a 360 video or 1080 video, whatever, but wow. Like it's very immersive. Like being on the head of the athlete while they're they're doing it, it's very, very nice and very, very immersive. Their resolution wasn't the best, actually. I don't know why. I have a pretty good connection, like 10 megabit per second so it should be enough and there's no way to put a different one and even wait for buffering there's no option for it and the thing that the motion controller was stuck in place was a kind of weird but you can live with that it's very very nice it's free so i totally totally recommend it of course uh, I'm gonna leave all the links below for, to download it and if you have mixed reality, enjoy it really or Daydream, Gear VR and everything, download it because it's very very nice. There's already some content so during the Olympics game they're gonna add content like on demand and that's pretty nice because it's gonna be open to everybody. It's not the Intel project that they presented to CES where everything was a kind of a room scale where you can also move your head around. Are just 360 degrees video, but very, very nice, really. Very, very impressed. I didn't expect that. And so that's it. This was the Olympic app. Guys, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Let me know in the comment below if you need any help and let me know your impression out of it. And see you guys in the next video. And remember to subscribe to the channel if you like and want to know more about VR and tech in general. So see you. Ciao.